We're explaining IA prompts and this is the explanation of prompts 21 to 25. So number 21. What is the relationship between knowledge and culture? Globalization and local knowledge, universality of mathematics, these things are basically the main points that you can talk about. Knowledge and is knowledge cultural or universal? Is knowledge just for the same period of time or timeless? All these things you can talk. So you can talk a lot in mathematics and bring a lot of objects and objects are just formulas and theorems and conjectures and problems that were solved and remained unsolved and everything or other in about globalization and local knowledge in politics and about uh, of course also indigenous sciences there are many things that you can talk about number 22 what role do experts play in influencing our consumption or acquisition of knowledge. If you remember, we had a bad example about it, so don't do that. In politics, uh, we talked a lot about public debates and how misleading they can be. So who can we trust in public debates and who is an expert? If you want to have this prompt as the title of your exhibition, you can choose Tweets, you can choose news reports, you can choose all of these things. And about the titles, about the debates, about the fights and arguments that experts have, and then go through the story and tell us who can we trust and who is an expert and what are the role influencing society. Number 23, how important are material tools in the production or acquisition of knowledge? That is a little bit tricky. So the devices that we use to produce knowledge in different areas of knowledge or even our daily life. So be careful if you use this title, this prompt, don't explain methods. It's all about tools, devices that we use, the tools that we use and material tools, not virtual, not intellectual, material tools that, how important are they in production or acquisition of knowledge? And maybe you can use a whiteboard and a smart board. Don't use them, I'm just example to make, them, to make it more clear for you. Or use them your choice it's your exhibition number 24 how might the context in which knowledge is presented influence whether it is accepted or rejected simple and easy it is all about presentation good presentation bad presentation so if the knowledge is presented in a context that matches the knowledge and it's presented well, it is accepted. Not most probably it gets rejected. So you find your theme, then you find any knowledge that was misrepresented and use that as the object. Number 25, how can we distinguish between knowledge, belief, and opinion? Amazing. In one interview, Denzel Washington used the word means opinion and news. Go and watch that. Just search opinions, it appears everywhere. And personal versus shared beliefs and information versus knowledge. So how can we distinguish between these things? You can it is good that you can use three different objects: one representing knowledge, one representing belief, and one representing opinion. How can you pull that off? I'm not sure if you can or not, because you need some guidance to do that. But otherwise, 
It's a very good and very flexible prompt to choose. Thanks for watching. Next, 26 to 30.